get ready to witness history in the making as Starship edges closer to reaching orbit. With two groundbreaking flights under its belt, the anticipation for this monumental achievement is palpable. Musk's recent announcement confirming an astonishing 80% success rate for Starship Flight 3 only adds to the excitement. Join us as we delve into the latest news surrounding Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship project. With a staggering 80% success rate for Flight 3, the future looks promising. But what does the future hold for this ambitious project if IFT-3 achieves a resounding success? And what lies ahead for the Starship project if IFT-3 proves to be a resounding success? Tune in to find out. Hello everyone welcome back to AB Space Channel. My name is Armin your today as host. As the countdown to Starship IFT-3 continues, the anticipation is reaching new heights. This flight marks the dawn of a pivotal chapter in the Starship project promising to unlock unprecedented potential. With each Starship flight comes a unique mission, yet the ultimate objective remains unchanged to breach the threshold of orbit. In a recent online discussion, Elon Musk shared his insights. Probably of reaching orbit is good, or 80%. Musk's recent statement exudes a remarkable level of confidence, especially considering the challenges encountered during the initial Starship flights. Recall the cautious optimism surrounding the success rates of the first two flights, which Musk estimated at 50% and 60% respectively. Such assessments underscored the inherent risks associated with launching new rockets like Starship, reflecting Musk's pragmatic approach. However, the revelation of an 80% success rate for Flight 3 signals a significant shift. While the increase may seem incremental, it instills a newfound sense of certainty and confidence. With past issues potentially resolved, the prospect of achieving orbit as early as the third flight seems increasingly within reach. Musk's recent statements regarding the success rates of Starship flights are grounded in substantial reasoning. Musk emphasized that had there been a payload on board, the vending process would not have occurred, increasing the likelihood of reaching orbit. Moreover, SpaceX has diligently conducted tests and implemented upgrades to the Flight 3 prototypes, including enhancements to the heat shield system, hot staging procedures, and engine replacements aimed at bolstering reliability. These efforts combined with insights gained from previous flights provide a solid foundation for Musk's optimism regarding the prospects of Flight 3. Considering these factors, Musk's confidence in achieving an 80% success rate for Flight 3 appears well-founded and reflects SpaceX's commitment to continual improvement and innovation in the pursuit of space exploration. Musk not only provided the success rate, but also offered an estimate for the Flight 3 launch date. Musk and other sources indicate that Starship Flight 3 is slated for launch within the next three weeks, around the second week of March. Currently, the prototypes earmarked for Flight 3, namely the S-28 and B-10, are undergoing final preparations including wet res rehearsal and static fire tests with the S-28. Beyond the primary objective of achieving orbit, Flight 3 encompasses several additional goals. These include validating the Raptor engine relay capability, demonstrating the functionality of the PES door, and conducting a pivotal tip tank transfer demonstration. These milestones collectively underscore the multifaceted nature of the mission and the ambitious objectives set forth by SpaceX. Insing engine stability and reactivation capability is of paramount importance, especially in light of the challenges encountered during Flight 2. While the engines performed admirably in the initial stages of the flight, issues arose during the shutdown and separation processes, ultimately leading to the booster's explosion. As a result, SpaceX is keen on enhancing engine reliability for both stages, exemplified by the recent engine swap involving S-28. Undoubtedly, these tasks present formidable challenges for the SpaceX team. However, with Musk's assertion of an 80% success rate for Flight 3, there is optimism that these endeavors will yield favorable outcomes. And the success of Starship's Flight 3 will have a huge impact on the future. The immediate impact of Flight 3's success will likely be seen in the subsequent flight. Following these milestones, SpaceX plans to focus on developing and demonstrating orbital in-flight propellant transfer systems. If successful, this will pave the way for the development, production, and launch of the HLS Starship by the end of 2025. Furthermore, SpaceX has plans for an unmanned lunar landing mission slated for 2025 preceding Artemis 3. This mission could serve as a crucial testbed for the capabilities of the HLS Starship before it embarks on a crewed lunar landing. 
These detailed plans highlight SpaceX's ambitious trajectory with Starship Flight 3, serving as the pivotal catalyst to unlock the full potential of this groundbreaking spacecraft. Looking beyond internal planning, the outcome of Starship Flight 3 will reverberate throughout the space race not just this year, but for many to come. In the face of these challenges, the success of Starship Flight 3 will be monumental in solidifying SpaceX's position. A successful Flight 3 would unlock the ambitious plans outlined earlier and position SpaceX to maintain its dominance in the aerospace industry. All eyes are now on the 80% success rate that Musk has announced. While this rate isn't absolute and risks still loom, it generates excitement and confidence. Flight 3 with an 80% success rate is poised to launch in the coming weeks. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time.